Hello, my soccer universe. Those past two weeks were anything but quiet in Austrian football. We had, of course, the whole disaster surrounding the Austrian Football Federation, where Coach Rangnick and also the national team players truly had a big say as well. And it led to President Mitterdorfer even resigning because he couldn't get his suggestions through. And of course, being under major fire coming from Rangnick. And you know, it was really an ugly scene. Too much to cover in this video where we actually want to focus more on the Austrian Bundesliga. But Austrian Bundesliga, there was also quite something happened. First of all, after Andreas Schicker went from Stumgras to Hoffenheim, he just fired before the international break coach Matarazzo at Hoffenheim. That's the German Bundesliga, yes. But he hired Christian Itzer from Stumgras as well. So they are reunited. A successful duo from Stumgras is now at Hoffenheim. And the big question, of course, is what does this mean for Stumgras? Well, they got Jürgen Säumel, a former captain in the and seems like everything is going fine so far. They even hired now a new team manager. Let's see how it will go forward. Sturm Graz seems to be a very settled team at this very moment. But long term, this might actually turn things into the other direction. We have to wait and see. Then, Blaubeis Linz, who already before the international break had the really weird news that a young player finished his career because of religious reasons. Now, Coach Scheibelehner was tempted by Grasshoppers Zürich, which of course he would probably have wanted to, but Blaubeis Linz was not ready to negotiate. Instead, they extended his contract. So, I guess this kind of settled things, but given the current form of Blaubeis Linz, Last thing is not over. And he is also very much linked with the job at Sturm Graz. He was a close friend of Chris Ilzers as well. And in all that, we also have Lask finally ahead of blau weiss Linz again. And also getting a second win, another win in Salzburg. And another one where I have to say, yeah, this was not great stuff. Probably not even much that deserved. But what does deserve it mean in football? In any case, we had so many games where we actually would have deserved more and didn't get points of at most one point. Now we have two games in a row where I think if you get one point out of that, that would be just however you get six points out of that. And Maxi Entrup is really proving to be the striker that we all wanted to see for a very long time. So I'm very pleased about that as well. So I would say let's go into Medias Res, recap the games that we had on this past weekend, and we'll talk about the situation at the table and what will be happening going forward. If you ask me about my favorite type of win, it is the undeserved win at arrival. That's exactly what Lars got today in Salzburg, a game that they should not have gotten anything out of. They get all three points and it's almost all no man. Again, it's a comeback win. It's not too rather bad away performance with two big wins coming up and top six looks a little bit better after the performance. But if you saw the interview of Coach Shop after the game, it looked like Lars had lost that game. It was not good. They were very too passive. Yes, very defensive in the first half. Kaldate or in the second minute could have given Salzburg the lead. There were more chances for Salzburg to Kloch. There was only one for Lasker. Really good header by Entrup. But I thought, yeah, the game had settled. It's kind of level. On the negative side though, Jovicic and then Horvath had to come off with injuries and how Bistrup didn't get a yellow card or any of this is a little bit beyond me. After the half then, Salzburg really for the first 15, 16, 17 minutes were so much better. Lars could not keep the ball, they kept losing it all the time whenever they played out way too passive again. There were quite a few chances already before, before then. After a corner kick, Salzburg plays it actually nicely and Yeo then makes it 1-0 for Salzburg but fully deservedly so. Laskin had to come out and get something from that game, but didn't produce all that much. And Konate should have decided that game. It has to be said because he got the ball off Bocharde and had then a four on two and decided to take a shot from far outside of the box. Before that also Valon Berisha had to be substituted. And then it's a free kick. Florian Flecker puts the cross in, it finds the head of Smolcic and then Karim Konate, who had just missed a big chance to decide the game for Salzburg, puts it into the net. Yeah, Ljubicic would have been there, so I guess this would have been an equalizer in any case. And then Salzburg came again. I mean, there was really not much coming from Lask, it has to be said. Also has, has, has to be said that Yeo himself should have gotten a second yellow card and be sent off how the referee didn't call it is also a little bit beyond me. And as Salzburg were pressing and there was one scene that was typical for the game, 
where Radkov and I think and Nene had a great attack move and then crash into each other. This was the game. This was more or less the way the game was going. And then there's one great attack where Entrup himself gains the ball in his own half, plays it out to Flecker, goes to Talavierov, goes over to Ljubicic, who then finds Entrup. Beautiful run. I mean, you could not have drawn up this play better on a board. And Entrup gets the winner. As I said, fully undeserved. However, whenever Lask did something dangerous, they were damn dangerous. But the big story, of course, is in Austria. Not that Lask won, that's a big story for me. But that Salzburg again lose. This time they actually looked a little bit better, but overall this is a really bad run for them now. And they have never started as bad in a season in the Red Bull era. And I think it goes now that even coach Pep Linders is a little bit under pressure. Not a little bit, a whole lot under pressure. Judging from this game, I actually think they had kind of a turnaround but then they didn't get the result and yeah i'm happy with the three points but i can say wholeheartedly the win was not deserved but it's a great win and at least for a little while fourth in the table again which also feels kind of good but you know the other results now also need to fall our way in the first match after Chris Ilzer left, Sturm Graz showed no signs of being unsettled, winning 7-0 against Austria Klagenfurt. It was the Danish Dynamite show, Böwing and Biereth both scoring two goals, both being involved in two out of the goals as well, only seventh goal when they both have been taken off the pitch. They were not involved. Probably the pick of the bunch was Böwing's 5-0, a great shot with the left foot, but then there was also a really good third goal by Biereth, where he makes a wonderful run after Kitesch really pass to slot it home. Home. It also has to be said that at 3-0 the scoreline was way too high but Klangfurt was much better in the game the scoreline might have suggested but then they completely fell apart and you know 7-0 really not good maybe for the first time since coming back to the Bundesliga also Klangfurt will not make it into the top 6. Sturm Graz on the other side they look completely unperturbed under new coach Jürgen Seumel former Sturm captain so that is also something that is really good for the fan base. They also favorite to win the title. Rapid may have had all the possession in Innsbruck against VSG Tirol, but they barely hit the goal. They had many shots, but only four went on target. There were many crosses in, only three actually were successful. And then when they once went through the line, like Bellio had, and then a shot gets blocked, although he already had rounded the keeper, but there were still a few defenders around. It confirms that Rapid away from home is a completely different proposition than Rapid at home. They probably should have won this game. On the other side, it was a valiant defensive performance and a vital point for VSG Tirol in the fight against relegation. And the new coach René Poms, GRK are still unbeaten. They have now the second win in the row. There's only two wins of the season. Beating blau weiss Linz away from home 2-2-1. Which is also the first away win in the Bundesliga since 2006, believe it or not. And overall I would say the win was even deserved. Because while blau weiss Linz may have had more of the game, it was always GRK that who were more dangerous. They had already the majority of chances. blau weiss Linz took the lead through going in the 30th minute with the first shot on goal. However, just before the half through Lichtenberger and then after the half through Zipot, Gerka turned the game around and even when they went down a man after a really rough Jovicic foul, they could see it out because Blavis Linz really didn't have any ideas of how to break down the 10-man wall. Two late Joker goals give Wolfsburg a 2-0 lead fully deserved over Altag, meaning they go back in fourth place in the table and also solidify the spot in the top six. As I said, the win was fully deserved because especially in the first half Wolfsburg had more of the game. Second half Altag had then a few chances, the first shots on goal, but then Ajiman and Koizek came on and first it's Ajiman assisted by Koizek that finds a breakthrough for Wolfsburg and late on it is Koizek himself who doubles the lead. It's a little bit surprising to say that Austria Vienna are the informed team in the league at the moment. They get the sixth win in a row thanks to 1 0 win over Hartberg, a game that was bound to be decided by a dead ball situation. Early on, Hartberg had a little bit more chances, but then Austria Vienna got better in the game, created chances. Plavodic already missed a rather big one in the first half, but then after Fitzkorna, he heads it in where he had incredible hang time as well. Austria Vienna now draw level with Rapid Vienna and. Might there be more in there for them than just a spot in the top six and potentially a European spot?
Based on last season's file standing, this current table makes for some strange reading. I mean, Sturm Graz far ahead. They have been the best team in the league and they barely had any blips in there. So I think that is all okay. Rapid was also more or less on the way up. That they in second place was maybe not that expected ahead of the season, but currently they seem to be one of the better teams. However, that Austria Vienna is now level on points with Rapid and only behind them because they lost the Derby. This is a major surprise, especially after the bad start to the season that they had. On the flip side, we had a relatively good start for Salzburg. However, Salzburg have been completely falling off. They have only scored now a single goal, I think, in the last four games, which was the goal now against Lusk. They have been showing almost nothing except at the game in Rotterdam against Feyenoord. And now they sit on sixth. Yes, they have two games in hand. One against Hartberg, one against Klangfurt. Both of them at home. Both of them will be played before the winter break. However, it is a really, really odd thing to see Salzburg that low. In the Red Bull era, they have never been as bad. And I think a major revamp will be happening, starting from Sporting Director like Sam Buchner, probably even Coach Linders. Everything is up for grabs and there needs to be a whole new reset. And I think a certain Jürgen Klopp will have something to say with that. Now, if I look for the race of the top six, the picture becomes clear now, especially with Lusk getting this big win in Salzburg. You're suddenly in fifth place. Yeah, maybe sixth if you take Salzburg, if you give Salzburg a few points there. But it's an 81% chance of going in there. Wolfsburg, I think, I think also will be one of those teams that will go in. Whereas on the other side, Blaues Lenz, Hartberg, Klagenfurt, more or less now on the outside looking in. Yes, still playing plenty of games to be played, but there is a trend. And to be honest, I think two months ago, I never would have thought that Lusk will make it easily into top six. If they continue the good form, that might be. However, you also have to say that Hartberg, they had now a relatively bad run, but they have really tough opponents. The schedule eases up for Hartberg the closer we get to the end of the regular season. So for me, Hartberg is probably the team that is most dangerous to maybe overtake one of the teams that are currently in the top six. The upcoming round is probably all conditioned by the Linz versus Vienna duel. We have Rapid Vienna hosting Blauweiß Linz. You would expect a home win, especially since Rapid is much better at home than away from home. And then Lask hosting Austria Vienna. Crucial game that is, especially with Austria Vienna being on six game win streak. Lask having two games now, one in a row without really convincing. Maybe at home there will be something different. Maybe the switch flipped, of course. Lask also have a pretty tough game in Banja Luka in the midweek that might condition that as well. This is also true for Rapid, who also play in the Europa League, at least they play at home. And then also Sturm Graz and Salzburg play in the Champions League, but Sturm Graz have a manageable opponent in Altach. Salzburg against Hartberg, this could be a really interesting one, because if Hartberg gets at least one win against Salzburg, then they might actually find it easy to grab something from Salzburg. And then in the midweek, they play Salzburg again in Salzburg. This is the makeup game that they postpone. So rather interesting stuff. With Salzburg, in complete disarray, this league seems to be wide open and actually slashing the points in half after the regular season might help the Vienna team so on. Maybe even Salzburg and Sturm Graz will be the team that is reeling from that. Still, Sturm Graz seem to be so solid that I think it should be their title to lose. As for Lask, I'm getting a little bit more optimistic. If you get 30 wins, that's usually a good sign. Get in the top six, don't lose too much ground. Maybe you can challenge for a third place or even better, win the cup. I think this should be the main goal at this point. Be it as it may, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon about more things in my Austrian Bundesliga universe. Bye! Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.